Hey guys, thank you so much for clicking on my video. My name is Jess and today I'm just going to be doing a quick get ready with me. I'm not feeling super great. I'm kind of getting over a cold. I thought I was getting over a cold. I was feeling better and then yesterday night out of nowhere I just started to feel worse and now I feel like I sound weird so I might sound kind of nasally but here we are. So I'm just doing a quick get ready with me. I just kind of want to do just a little bit of makeup to make me feel a little bit more alive and well. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing today. Before we get started though, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every Tuesday and Thursday so hit that subscribe button and then we can hang out all the time. All right, let's get started. I'm going to start off by using the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion. I'm just going to be placing that all over the lid. I'm going to be dipping into this Urban Decay Kristen Leanne palette. This is no longer available, but the Urban Decay Petite Heat, Naked Petite Heat, I don't know what it's called. Um, that's basically the exact same thing. I'm going to start off with this color Lucy and I'm just going to place that all over the lid. I'm using a soft fluffy eyeshadow brush. This guy is from Costco, it's Kirkland brand. I've had it forever, but any soft eyeshadow brush that you have works really well for this. I'm just going to use the Sigma E40 to blend everything out. Now I'm going to dip into this color here, Daydream, and I'm just going to be placing that throughout the crease. I'm going to use the same brush. I'm just going to blend again. I'm going to be using the Smashbox the Cali Contour. I'm just going to be dipping into the bronzing shade. It's a matte bronze. I'm just using this really fluffy Marc Jacobs bronzing brush. I'm just going to warm up my face a little. Now I'm going to go in with some Tarte Shape Tape. I'm in the color Light Medium Honey. And I'm just going to dab a little bit on my under eyes just to kind of correct that darkness there. And I don't go heavy with this stuff. I just go real light. And I just really focus it on the inner corner part and then spread it out. I'm just using a damp beauty blender. Whatever is remaining, I just kind of pat on my cheeks because they're very naturally rosy and on my nose. I'm using the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder in Translucent. I'm using a Real Technique setting brush. I'm going to set my under eyes with that. I'm using this ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in Flexitarian. I'm just going to use my finger and dab that to highlight. use the bottom end of a beauty blender to just tap this out a bit. Just gonna place a little bit of highlight on the tip of my nose. Now I'm gonna use um, some mascara. This is the Maybelline Colossal Cat Eye. I'm just gonna dab on a little bit of MAC Plumful. All right guys, so we are all done with the look and I really like it. I do this look all the time. It's just a very easy like, no fuss, no muss, just quickly slap it on and you're out the door. And 
on days where I just don't really feel like putting a lot of effort it's just one of my go-to's and I really do think that it makes you look more like bright and awake and I really like it um yeah makeup has definitely been medicinal today because I'm feeling better already leave me a comment down below if you guys also do your makeup when you're sick just to make yourself feel a little bit better and look a little bit more alive all right guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe I would love to have you back all right you guys take care bye Do I sound sick? I feel like sometimes when you think you sound sick, you don't actually, and then when you think you feel like you sound like you're getting better, everyone's like, oh my gosh, are you sick? I don't know. I guess I should have done concealer first. Whoopsie, I guess I dropped the ball. I'm gonna dab on a little bit of Mac syrup. Nope, that's a lie.